Hey! So, I want to make a simple tabletop RPG game that I can mash all my favourite creations into and then play that game with my friends who live far away and eventually maybe share that game with you. My vision for the game is a pulp fantasy dungeon delver with weird and wild magic and maybe some horror stuff but like the fun, silly kind of horror stuff. In terms of rules, I want the game to feel like how TV depicts Dungeons and Dragons. Rules need to be fast moving and engaging rather than distracting. Engagement is such a struggle playing online that I want to avoid stopping play at all costs. Oh no, hang on. Oh no, have I broken? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, sorry, I died there. You that? No. Fuck, what's happening? One of the other realities of adult life is uh, everyone is so busy. So I need a system that is easy to drop in and out of as a player. I think my solution is a levelless, classless RPG where progression is depicted through magic items and injury and possibly magical misfortune. Time to hit the books. I need to know what already exists, so I bought as many RPG systems as I could afford, and I dug through them one by one, and I watched a whole bunch of content creators talk about their games, or their favourite games, and also their house rules, or homebrew stuff. All the books were so cool, and filled to the broom with great ideas, uh, but the one that stood out to me the most was the most simple of them, called Knave which I found out later is by The Questing Beast, who is another YouTube guy. The really cool thing about Nave is it's licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International License, which means it can be used as the foundation of my RPG system and I can hack it up and still be allowed to legally share it with everyone. So using Nave as the base, I chopped up the rules and took out what I didn't need and I added my own. And over a couple of weeks, I play tested them with my friends, making changes as I went. At this point in the process, my RPG system is called Arcane Ugly. I even made a little logo, which I'm really proud of. Arcane for the emphasis on magic in the game, and Ugly for the potential to mutate yourself into weird, grotesque things when magic goes wrong. Here's a very quick run through of all the aspects of the game that I really dig so far. Stats are really simple to roll and everyone starts pretty squishy. So monsters are very scary and typically require uh, some teamwork and problem solving to overcome. You have limited item slots, which define the role you want to play. Character creation is really streamlined. After doing some playtesting, I really wanted to get everyone from nothing to adventuring in the same session at the very beginning of the session as a group as quickly as possible. And to make things more personal, I added some fun things like adjective columns to starting weapons to make players roll for things like a rusty sword or a bent spear or a slimy mace. My hope is that players will get attached to their scavenged weapons or want to seek better ones. As the last step of character creation, players roll a four-sided dice for every ability score of one that they have. One is the lowest and most common score. Any multiples rolled on those dice uh, something interesting happens. They find a magic item or a spell or some extra dosh to start their adventure with. Mechanically, it's a chance at making um, an average rolled character a little bit more unique. And on top of that, it's also just a fun way of making the end of character creation fun and get players excited before throwing them into the game. I also added permanent injuries, which uh, affect your stat line. And that's something I love in my favorite games like Mordheim and Arkham Horror. Adventuring takes a toll on you. Each adventure, you're slowly turning into a badass version of your former self but you're also collecting scars along the way, and that makes you, you. Magic, I love magic. I love big, explosive, whimsical, silly magic. Magic that is wild and poorly understood. 
Every character can sling spells out of spellbooks. Each spellbook takes up slots and contains just a couple of spells. I wanted spellbooks to be these in-game artifacts that you find that tell a story and get players attached to them as they collect them. So spellbooks have a title and an author and a brief description, and the spells inside are themed to the book. Magic in Arcane Ugly is volatile and risky. Every spell is roll to cast, and on a roll of one, something catastrophic happens. Um, combat is very rules light. For my group of friends, our combats are very fun and descriptive. Heroic acts are met with cheering when they go right, or a collective wincing when it all goes horribly wrong. So I want to encourage that. Okay, enough about mechanics. Time to add flavor to this shell of a game. This is the hard part. I need magic spells, I need magic items, I need cool places, and I need monsters. Here's how I come up with ideas. The secret is books. The internet is awesome for finding anything in the world that you're looking for. But books are great for finding things you didn't know you were looking for. And most of the time, I don't even read them. I read a couple of words or I just look at the pictures, whatever. But that's what they're so great at, is generating ideas. The technique I used for my D666 tavern generator that I made a little while ago that you can find on miscast.co is word banks. Word banks are something I exclusively remember from like grade three of school and they're just a list of words that you'd collect while you were reading that sounded interesting or you didn't understand to look up later. Super useful now. I typically make them while listening to audiobooks when I hear a word that paints a cool picture in my brain. So then I can steal it for a D&D session later on. Anyway, for ideas, you can collect cool words and then mash them together until magic happens. Rule books are great for this sort of thing because they're filled with pages on pages of awesome titles and descriptive words. So to come up with spells, I'd take two books and then find two awesome words in them and then mash them together. Like gravity and blitz, gravity blitz, sounds fun, reality dent, that's dope, bear lobber, hell yeah. I went secondhand book shopping the other day and I love buying books like this. Great for ideas on interesting locations, books on animals are awesome for monster creation, and I had no idea that this sort of thing existed. This massive book on antiques. There's gotta be ideas crammed in there everywhere, like charms and boxes and canes and weird tools and books and statues. Monsters, okay. I wanna to totally give my cool creations and terrain a new life in this book. And that was sort of the purpose of this project mostly, to give all the things I make at home a new life and give them rules that I can play with and then I can uh, share with other people too. Kit bashing models is my favorite way to come up with new monster ideas. Well, so far. Things just take shape and transform into something new before your eyes. It's really relaxing because monsters sort of make their own stories. Like this gang of weirdos I made a bit ago, I picture them burying this troll under rubble and stuff with his chest head sticking out, enticing adventurers to collect the treasure. Then wham, they all jump out and attack. Um, ideally, I'd love to make a monster building system so then games masters can like follow a chart to build monsters of their own and at the same time build their stats. I don't know, we'll work on that. In the back of the book, I really want a tool for collaborative world building. It's something I've introduced into basically all my games I'm playing at the moment. In the first session, I make a world with my players asking where they're from on the map and then make places that they've heard rumors about or places that they want to go to or travel to and um, ask them to make landmarks or cool structures like temples or skull-shaped rocks or volcanoes or dark forests or forbidden places, all that sort of fun stuff. And then uh, before the start of each uh, game, Sesh, we just add a little bit more to it and um, this helps with my pre-game jitters or nerves because it puts everyone on like the same creative level and it's fun to explore and reference in the games that we play. So yeah, I really want to do that. Okay, so right now the game is totally playable. 
Um, I have heaps to add and I'm just going to add to it each game I play with my players and then um, make art on the side and film all that and make more videos but while it's in development I'm going to give it to patrons and then when it's finished I'll publish it in uh, some sort of public way probably on messcast.co okay I'll see you soon for this next uh, thing because this is really exciting for me okay bye